Can I say the focus? Oh, fine. What's, what's bragging? Uh, we're in our barber school with my boy Diego. So to my cameraman. And we're going to be commentating on the video. We're going to watch it with you guys. We're going to give you guys tips. And... We're going to start out with the detachable blade. We're going to do a triple zero just for the base. And then we're going to put a, we'll put a three, right? Yeah. And then we'll put a three on it. So when you use a detachable and you want to use a guard, you, the base blade is just a triple zero. Yeah. It fits with any guard. Alright, and the first, the first demarcation line is going to be the clipper all the way closed, which is the first dot. And since it is a taper, you're just going to go to about where the ear stops. Like, I mean, where it starts on the top. As you can see, you want to make it as straight as possible. And then after that, you're going to clip her all the way open. And you're going to go about a, like an inch, right? Yeah, yeah, about an inch. About an inch. And also, you want to make it, well, me personally, I like to make it like a little rainbow. So it's curved. Alright, so now we're gonna start taking out the bottom line. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the lever to the second to last notch, as you saw, and then you're gonna go at it at an angle. Now you wanna take all the space. See, look, as you can see, I go all the way up, basically up until um, where the dark line is. All right, so, so since we're gonna fade out the, the line that we made with the two closed, we're gonna use a double zero guard, which is equivalent to a number one, and you're gonna open it to the second to last notch, and you're gonna go at an angle. The angle part is really important because if you go straight up, you're just gonna bring a line higher, and when you hold it in an angle, it, it kind of fades in. So you're basically softening up the line so that when we close it to the second to last notch, it just comes out like butter. All right, so we're just gonna close the clipper to the second to the last, no, to the second dot, and then we're, once again, we're just gonna attack the line, just tapping it, hopefully it'll come out. But as you can see, it doesn't come out perfectly, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a triple zero, which is equivalent to a zero guard, but you'll see. Alright, so like I said, sometimes the line doesn't fully come out, but I, I personally only see this happen with straight hair. So you're gonna grab a triple zero guard, which is equivalent to an and a zero, or 116, and you're gonna put it about halfway. And just like before, you're just attacking the line, you're not gonna go all the way up, you're barely grazing the line, trying to make it as smooth as possible.
All right, so here I just went back to the number two um, all the way open just to smooth it out a little bit better. Um, sometimes, like I said, it's not going to happen. It's not going to all come out back. It's not all going to come out right the first time, but you just have to keep trust the system, go back and forth. Don't change anything. Don't try to move the lever or anything different, but sometimes you just need to go through the steps so it all comes together. Ah, so moving on to the back back taper same steps bro same thing same system so what you do you clip her all the way close and now this is kind of tricky man this is like a, a high medium i guess you can say it's not low it's not high so i left i basically went up to the earlobes i say like before um we're gonna do the clipper all the way up and now if you if you notice in the beginning i was gonna start in the corner but then i started in the middle um because I'm trying to start in the middle with everything that I do, just so I know it's gonna come even, so I have like a base. Because if you start all the way in the left and you try to make it all the way to the right, doing the same thing, it's a little harder, yeah. So if you start in the middle, it'll just... So we're gonna, we're gonna do this one a little bit different. I did this one a little bit different just to explain. So we close the clipper all the way, opened it all the way, and now I'm gonna slap the two guard on it and we're gonna, we're gonna bring about another inch. So what I did differently this one is I, made the guidelines first and then we're going to take them out so it's all personal preference you'll see it all comes out the same way but it's just i, I decided to do this a little different so maybe if you guys follow along better like this it's easier but that's what i did all right and just like before since we're not making a guideline you're just trying to blend from the two to the three that you have on top you can open the clip all the way and you're gonna try to flick out you're gonna go in different angles um do whatever you got to do to make the you know make the transition yeah smooth. angles is the key right yeah, as you can see i'm going all angles. different angles left right bottom straight don't so. go up and down cool at an angle mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna start fading from bottom to top. So we're gonna fade out that line from the clipper closed to all the way open. And just like before, you're gonna open it to the sec uh, second to last notch. And you're going at an angle. So after we, we soften the line, we're gonna close the clipper to the second to last notch, fading. Now, if you guys haven't caught on right now, you guys will see, it's all, when you're fading, it's just the second to last notch, the second notch, that's it. There's nothing in between. And when you do the second to last notch, it's just to soften it. It's just to make it easier for the line to come out when you close it to the second, to la to the second notch. You know what I mean? So it's confusing, but right here, as you can see, I slowed it down. Um, I'm, this is, I'm just trying to, I'm just like, I don't want to say flicking at the line, but I'm going at an angle and I'm just tapping it. Using the corners too. There you go. Using the, only use the corners when you're doing that. Yeah, and at, at an angle. Dude, the angles are so important, man. You, 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 you'll see. All right, now moving on to the second demarcation line. We're going to use double zero, which is a one. Second to last match at an angle. up that bottom line we're gonna use the same guards close it to the second notch 
at an angle, just tap it. Man, y'all, y'all know the deal, right? Y'all know what it is. Just tap. It's the same thing. I kind of flick out, flick out a little bit. Barely, kind of. I wouldn't even say that, my man. I would just say like, like you just, you just tap it. Okay, I like. We're gonna use the. Damn, bro, right as hell. This is the Holy Ghost. Why? The barber gods are shining down. Dude, it's the on barber gods shining down on us. <laughs> Alright, so next, moving <clears throat> on to. I would say, like, the most important part is the lines. That just makes the whole haircut pop. Uh, you can start wherever. I personally, just because of the angle, I started around the ear, like on the back taper. Actually, no, I like I do that all the time. I always do the back and then work my way to the front. Now, there's really no secret to this. You kind of just want to make your lines as straight as possible and really, really define it around the ear. Yeah, treat it as the front line, as our teacher would say. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Witt. All day, Bob Illuminati. All right, so moving on to this C cup area. Uh, this is personally for me, it was like the hardest thing to get in the beginning. Same. Um, I don't know why, man. It's just like a C, but it's it's, it's more it's, it's harder than it looks. I'm still working on it. Yeah, me, me too. Like, um, but you kind of everyone, you know, you can start from the bottom, meet the way to the top. Um, I personally start from the top and then work my way down. Sometimes I don't know. It's just it, it all depends. Alright, so moving on to the front lining. As you can see, his line isn't that, you know, it's not perfect. So I want to keep it as natural as possible because if I, um, that's one thing you have to learn too, is you, you kind of have to learn if he has a already defined lining just to make it defined her, I guess. But if someone's is all messed up, just make it look as natural as possible. Um, I hate when people say, you know, they'll push my line back, but that's a whole different thing. But yeah, just, just trying to keep it as natural as possible and, um, I always start in the middle sometimes, but it just, it all depends. Like right here, since I had my man record, so it's just, it's a, it's a little different. But just keep it straight, keep it as natural as possible. And then, that's it. All right, now as you can see, it's his hairline, it looks, it, like I said, it looks kind of not straight or whatever. Um, personally, if, if you guys notice on his top left-hand corner, he has like a, what is it, like, like a cowlick, I guess, and it goes top right. back. Yeah, it's top, it is, no, it's top left. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> if I if I would have made the line straight, that would have mean I would have had to make, like, his his corner was more back than his front. So to make this, even with this, I would have to push it back, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, just so keep it natural. Just keep it natural. Yeah. All right, now it comes to the straight razor. It can be easy, but you just have to be careful. Um, what I'm putting on his face is that 245. Shout out Basio, local blends, my gift in hands. Yo, Fonz. Big Mike. Big Mike, cut one, rest one. And of course, Basio, man, shout out. All right, yo, that's the cut. 
Um, as you can see, he's, he, he got a little irritated back here. Um, my liners are just, you know, I think they're just a little too sharp. So, and that's the last problem we want to have. So, you know, we just got to mess with those a little bit. But, um, like, share, subscribe. Follow my boy. What's tell me your Instagram? Oh, uh, my Instagram is D Vino underscore 24. Follow me. Spell it out for me. Oh, D V I N O. I'm a little sick, so don't make fun of me. Ah, uh, yeah. Peace.